Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Now we've recently had an influx of new subscribers, around about 100 in just over 6 weeks. <coughs> Pardon me. And that's fantastic. So as always, like when we first started and guys like Blackjack Legacy, Idic Beer, um, and a few others gave us really, really good shout outs. I'll pay that back, or pay that forward as it were. And we used to quite often do shout outs to some of our favourite YouTube channels. And then it got to the point that all the ones we liked were as big as or bigger than us. So there was no need. But then a new channel comes along every now and then that really, really takes your fancy. And this is one such channel. So today we're doing a shout out to a channel called Big Beard Painting. It's currently on 231 subscribers. And I think the channel's been going for around about 12 months or so. Um, I know I recently found it um through blackjack legacy's facebook group so feel free to join there and you'll find loads of cool youtube content um and through that obviously i've met some really cool people and this is one of them this is one of those channels that i'm really really like i'm currently binge watching a lot of the content at the moment there's not too much up so i'm trying to only watch a few a day so that i don't do that thing you all do with youtube videos where we watch everything in their catalog and then we're like uh um yeah, and then you have to wait for them to put new content out, and then it doesn't come out quick enough. And then, like me, you whinge, and then you realise that on your own channel you don't put out enough content, and you think, hmm, there's a pot, there's a kettle, it's calling it black. You guys know what I mean. So, getting back to this channel. It's a fantastic channel. As I said, 12 months old-ish, maybe a little more, a little less. Um, puts out painting content, does reviews, and does a QA, and a as well as other games workshop and warhammer related news we're going to have a look at his videos in a second um what i will say is the reason that i like this channel is he's enthusiastic um when you watch his reviews and things of products um everything that comes across is very very genuine um any problems he has with something are there any positives he has with something are there there's no trying to play it up or play it down for the camera everything is very real um, and I like that because that's what we try and do with our channel. We don't put out the best content by any means. Anybody who watches our channel knows this. But I do like the fact, and I do pride myself on the fact, that the content we put out is honest. If I do a review of something, you can hear my excitement when I'm unboxing something. If I'm disappointed by something, I, can, I struggle to hide it. And that's one of the things that I think makes our channel liked by the people who do like it and this is one of the things i really like about this channel that and what i'm about to show you next so i'm going to link this channel in the description below obviously no point doing a review of the channel if you can't get to it i'm also going to put a separate link to a very specific video what i would like you to do is click on both watch that video and then decide whether you're going to subscribe because unless there's something wrong with you after watching this video, you're going to subscribe to this channel. That's just how I see it. I might be wrong, but if I am, I'm not. Like, I honestly don't think I'm wrong in this case. This is the video, how to make blood and water splash effects easy. Seven minute video, absolutely fantastic video. So let's have a look. This isn't here because this is as far as I've got. This is here because I wanted to pause it at this bit. A, because check out those glutes. And then this, this is basically what the video is teaching you to do. How to make blood water splash effects easy. Look at that. Just look at that effect. And it is, the way he shows you to make it is very, very easy. Now this has got 106 views and 16 likes. I would hope that everybody who subscribes to my channel and watches our videos and watches this video goes across and gets this number up. I'd be really disappointed if this wasn't at least at 150 within the next few days and that's not because of my arrogance cause that we've got so many subscribers we don't we you know i think last i checked we were at 666 which made me really really happy i'm not a satanist but it made me smile it really did and of that usually around about 100 to 150 watch our videos on a good day um not on a good day like we are 150 a day but i mean like each of our videos gets between 50 to 150 views unless one really takes off usually necromunda based and then it gets in the thousands and then yeah 
that's neither here nor there. We should do more Necromunda content. It's really what I'm saying. But if the people who watch this video can go across and just watch this video, hopefully we can get these thumbs up higher and we can get these views higher because it is a really, really good channel. And we're going to look at some of the content now. I'm not going to show you any clips or anything like that because you can go across and watch the videos. None of them are particularly long. They're all between sort of five to kind of 15 minutes or of the ones I've watched so far anyway. Um, but as you guys know, I tend to hit play all on a person's channel and I just tend to watch through there stuff so let's go have a look so i haven't watched this video yet so i don't know why it's saying i have unless i've accidentally clicked it at some other point fully intend to don't get me wrong i fully intend to watch this but i haven't yet but as you can see i have watched a number of other videos and in fact if we were to log into my personal account you'd see i'd watched even more than that it's just that i have two accounts one's our rage against the dice one where i do all our rage against the dice business one is my personal account which it doesn't have anything up really i just watch videos and stuff on it it's where i, I can sh you know abuse people on youtube anonymously except it's not anonymous it's my actual name and a picture of my face it's harder to get away from but that being said i've watched a lot of his content um and as i said he does unboxing videos such as this one with my boys the orcs Really, really good video. Eight minutes of your time that you will be glad you spent watching this video. Um, he does some product reviews. Where's one of the good ones? Oh, I really like this one. Luke's APS Forest Ground Cover Review. Now, I've got some Luke's APS um, flock that I'm really excited to try out. And I am going to do a video at some point with it. But... It's just I'm not working on anything that needs it at the minute when I'm doing some new terrain, which I will be for Savage Core. I want to make some jungly based terrain. I'll be using the flock on that and then I'm going to do a, definitely a review because Luke's new stuff is gorgeous. If you haven't already checked it out, go to Luke's APS um, YouTube channel and there's links there to go across and have a look at his new flocks and all his new other stuff, modeling compounds and things. Definitely worth a check out. But anyway, back to this channel. Didn't mean to hijack it there. So yeah, so it started off with some painting tutorials and showcases and updates on where he's at. Um, a live stream test. I haven't watched this. I, I don't really watch live streams except Blackjack Legacies. And that's just because I really, really, I find Andy really personable. Um, so there, yeah, that's a big up for Andy as well. So although this is a hype for this channel. I'm trying to drop as many names of YouTubers that I'm fond of at the same time. But no, covered some XLC stuff. We've done some XLC in the past. Their terrain's really, really nice. But I haven't looked at any of the, like, printed terrain. So I'm really interested in that. This, again, it's a video I haven't watched yet. As I said, I'm watching them in order. I think I'm about here um, on my personal account. So this is next. How to use the AK Heavy Chipping Fluid. It's going to be an interesting did a live stream there people keep asking me about live streams we may do some at some point maybe just like a certain hobby hobby and chill sit and paint while others can sit and paint and we can all kind of chat to each i don't know we'll arrange it at some point but yes he does this really good series and i really like it and i hope it's one he continues on which is big beards q a the first episode is how to start a youtube channel that one was a decent one. It wasn't one of my favourites, but it was still a good video. I really, really like this one. Big B, it's Q&A episode 2, Terrain, and does it really matter? In my opinion, yes. Yes, it does. You have to watch the video to see what his opinions are. Episode 3, Good Terrain or Good Minis, which is more important? And I think the context depends. Personally, I prefer Good Minis to Good Terrain. However, from a filming point of view, because of the angle you have the camera and things like that, and usually the distance so that you can get more of the battlefield in, good terrain stands out much better than good models. So tabletop models with really nice terrain will always look better for filming battle reports and things. Watch his video, though. It's really, really good. And again, it's only a small video, six, seven minutes out of your life. Well worth the watch. How to paint the Dark Ops terrain mausoleum. Now, this is a really, really good one. Um, terrain, especially this kind of terrain, there's a lot of tutorials online on how to paint them. Um, I really like this one. Um, 
I'm, there's none right now. Others I'm going to recommend. So go watch this one. It's a really, really good train thing. Um, I really, really like his showcase stuff. Um, Warhammer 40k film confirmed? Question mark. Go and check it out for yourself. It's four minutes of your time, people. Don't be stingy. Go and give him a view and a like. But no, honestly, I'm messing around here, but I really, really do like this channel. It's evident from the fact that I subscribe to it. You can say I watch it. If I was to click on, you know, any of these videos, you would see that I've given it a like. On this one, for instance. See, look, a like. In fact, two likes, because one of those will be from my personal channel. So, there you have it. Um, no, it's just a one at random I'll pick. This one, 40k film confirmed. A like again. So it is a channel I genuinely think is a really, really good channel. Dum, 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 dum. Big Beard Painting. Go and check it out. He's a really cool guy. Really, really good channel. I can't wait to see what more content comes out. I really want to see more of those Q&As. So definitely get working on that if you actually watch this video. Um, and yeah, to anybody who's give us props in the past, thank you very much. Hopefully, you know, we'll pay it forward. If you've got a YouTube channel and you're watching this video, please do a video on Big Beard Painting to also get his name out there a bit. I know Blackjack Legacy in the live stream, give him a shout out. And that got his numbers up a little bit, which is awesome. But no, we're a small community. We're a community of people who all have the same hobby. We have different aspects and different bits of that hobby, but we all have the same hobby. So we need to look out for each other. If a channel's only got 231 subscribers and you know from the content that it should have more, give them a shout out. What, five, 10 minute video? It gives you an extra video for people to watch, which is good for you. Um, and it gives good content creators <coughs> a way to get heard. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Go and check out Big Beard Painting's videos. See for yourself and then give him a subscribe. I want to see that subscribe account tick up nicely. But no, guys, seriously, thank you very much for watching today. Please feel free to give us a like. It obviously feeds Alan's ego, which is the main thing, as you well know. If it's your first time on our channel, check out some of our other content. As you can see in the library here, we cover a number of different subjects from 40k in Games Workshop all the way to small independent games like Dynamite or Rumble Slam. We do the odd playthrough now, and that's going to increase as we get back into the window. We're the only people who can't get more gaming in, in the summer because of kids and work and working kids, um, etc. That could be so taken out of context. Don't take us out of context, please. But no, guys, give us a subscribe and feel very free to do what I'm about to do now and click that bell for notifications. It was previously clicked. I clicked it off just so I could do that reference. Just saying. Um, but yeah, click that bell because it means that you'll actually get notified when they put out a video or when, in this case, we put out a video because YouTube don't like to tell you about us because we're only small. Bless you. But no, check out Big Beard Painting. Thank you very much for watching. As always, pray the dice gods and hope they smile upon you. Take care, guys. Bye.